Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video we will learn about the complexity and beauty of crystal growing with stunning results using this kit. Simply follow the instructions to conduct this crystal growing experiment. Watch with wonderment as each sparkling crystal forms and grows inside this tiny vial. So let the science, learning and fun begin. Let's get started. So warning, this set contains chemicals that may be harmful if misused. Read cautions on individual containers carefully. All chemicals furnished in this kit should be completely safe and handled according to instructions. Most are in a dilute form and no individual handling of chemicals is required outside of the containers. As with all chemicals, however, care should be taken to keep these containers out of the reach of small children to avoid being taken internally. It is for $8.95 from the Nature Company. Removing the packing peanuts from this box. Yes. So what are the contents of the kit? This kit contains three vials of chemicals that are labeled A, B, and C. While A contains a weak solution of succinic acid, about the strength of vinegar, while B contains sodium silicate solution, while C contains copper sulfate. So this is while A, solution A, contains a dilute solution of succinic acid, acidity level less than that of vinegar. Please be cautious, do not get in eyes, wash thoroughly after accidental contact with skin or clothing. Do not take internally. Keep this label for reference. While B contains sodium silicate crystals. While C contains brilliant blue copper sulfate crystals. Preparation of gelatin. The crystals that you will grow with this kit will occur in a firm clear gelatin prepared with the sodium silicate base. These crystals will be grown in the largest vial furnished in this kit, vial A. Remove the label that is attached to this vial with a rubber band and keep this label for future reference. Already did that. Look carefully at the solution in this vial. Under some conditions, the succinic acid will form white crystals in the bottom or sides of the vial. If crystals are seen, they must be dissolved before proceeding. To do this, leave the screw cap firmly attached and place the entire vial into a basin or pan of real warm faucet water. Leave in the warm water for a couple minutes to warm the solution and then remove and shake the vial vigorously. Crystals will begin to slowly dissolve. Repeat the warming and shaking process if necessary until no crystals remain in the solution. Look closely at the sodium silicate solution that is in the smaller wild bee. It is common for a milky white precipitate to occur in this solution. Shake this container vigorously to break up and evenly disperse any visible sediments if present. Allow this container to sit undisturbed for several minutes before proceeding so that no air bubbles will remain in the solution. Proceed to remove the screw caps from both wild A and wild B. Pour the entire contents of vial B on top of the contents of vial A. Screw the cap back on to vial A quickly and firmly. Invert the vial back and forth about 20 times to mix thoroughly. Do not shake too vigorously as it may leave air bubbles that could become trapped as the solution hardens into a gelatin. Vial A should now be placed in a safe area and not picked up or receive any type of vibration for at least 24 hours. The gelatin in this kit is slower to set than others in this series and may require more than 24 hours to harden. After 24 hours has passed, tap the vial lightly with your finger to determine if the gelatin has set. If water movement is seen at the top, it has not yet hardened. Wait and check again in about 12 to 24 hours. 
Do not proceed with step 2 until the gelatin has firmly set. I'm going to show you the copper sulfate crystals up close. It is time for step two, starting the growth of crystals. After the gelatin has set, remove the screw caps from vial A and vial C. Pour the entire contents of the copper sulfate from vial C into vial A on top of the gelatin, slowly and carefully to avoid damaging the gelatin. Next, fill the small and now empty vial C up to only one third full of room temperature tap water. Begin pouring this water on top of the copper sulfate and gelatin in vial A. The water level on top of the gelatin should not go above the narrow threaded portion of the vial so that some air space will remain above the solution after the screw cap has been replaced. Do not overfill. After returning the screw cap to vial A, place it in an area where the crystal growth can be observed without excessive handling. Rough handling or a sudden jar may produce a crack in the gelatin and could distort the crystal growth pattern. Within a few hours, small blue dots will begin to appear near the top of the gelatin. This is the beginning stage of the cupric copper succinate crystals. Within a couple of days, the crystal growth will begin to appear fern-like or dendritic. Crystals will continue to appear and grow deeper into the gelatin for about two to three weeks by which time the growth will be complete. After the crystal growth has finished, you may wish to invert the vial of crystals and view with a light entering from the backside. You will immediately understand why this kit was given the name of Ocean Bloom. The crystal growth will appear similar to an undersea garden where fronds of seaweed rise from the ocean floor, with floating vegetation above in a sea of misty blue water. Keeping the cap securely closed to prevent evaporation, along with careful handling, will aid in keeping the crystals intact and beautiful for years to come. This kit provides an excellent example of the forces of nature at work, utilizing the elements of chemicals with the laws of physics, resulting in an artistic display of crystals. An art form we have appropriately named chemical art. Sodium silicate is available commercially in two basic forms. One of these is a granular form and the other is in a liquid state that is often referred to as water glass. It is this liquid variety that is used as the base ingredient for the chemical art crystal growing kits. When an appropriate acid is selected and added in correct proportions to this liquid sodium silicate, it will solidify into a firm gelatin and provide an ideal environment for growing crystals. The reason this works so well is that a base chemical or combination of chemicals can be dissolved, evenly distributed and firmly set into the gelatin. When a reactant chemical is placed on top of the gelatin, its dissolved ions begin to slowly penetrate the gelatin due to being retarded by the structure of the gelatin. This slow controlled penetration allows time for proper bonding of the negative and positive ions and results in spectacular crystal growth or formation of the fascinating Lysi gang rings. Many chemical combinations that result in exceptional crystal growth in gelatin would only precipitate into muds or micro-sized crystals at the best in a liquid environment such as water. The gelatin environment simulates one of the natural conditions that occurs in the Earth's crust in which dissolved ions from various minerals slowly penetrate through soil or rock and contact other dissolved minerals resulting in the growth of crystals. This gelatin method can therefore be used to grow many natural crystals of minerals such as calcite, gypsum, etc. Very little extensive experimentation has been performed with crystal growth in gelatins. Some interest occurred around the early 1900s and on into the 1920s. Several professional chemists revitalized interest in this procedure during the 1960s primarily from the standpoint of growing crystals as a hobby. 
this method can still offer a great opportunity and challenge for students, schools, and universities to experiment and make new and exciting discoveries of crystal growth, growth of lysogang rings, and possibly some other strange occurrences or formations never previously seen by man or women. Chemical art kits provide an excellent introduction to this procedure and exhibit some of the fascinating and beautiful results that are possible. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.